Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Are you affiliated with Sheikh Nazim Haqqani? I want to take bayat with the tariqat, but I have heard several things about him which are putting me in doubt. Please let me know. May Allah guide us all. If I am what? What say again? Are you affiliated with Sheikh Nazim Haqqani? If I am affiliated. Yeah. I want to take bayat with the tariqat, but I have heard several things about him which are putting me in doubt. About me? About Sheikh Nazim. Or about Sheikh Nazim? Yes. Oh. Please let me know. May Allah guide us all. Yes, I am very affiliated with Sheikh Mawlana. I have born in his hand, almost. Uh, my father served him, my grandfather served him. We know uh, physically that much we know. Uh, from that day until now, yes, definitely the shaitans and the the agents and the ones that they are running to make things according to their own ego, they don't like Shah Mawlana, definitely. And they run to do so many things to show so many things that he is wrong. But he himself, I know I speak from myself for 50 years, that I know 50 years he lives for Allah. He doesn't live for anything else, for Allah. And he runs east, west, north, south, the whole world to bring safety to the people that they are falling into so many deepless and endless troubles. And anyone who's holding just like that to him, right away they are receiving that blessing. This is what I am seeing. This is what I am knowing. Huh. I know nothing. What I am speaking, anything that I am speaking is from him. It's not from me. The credit is to him. So, Sheikh Mawlana is the best. <laughs> Sheikh Mawlana is the only one. Sheikh Mawlana is the only one that is rich. That what I am seeing and experiencing worldly and heavenly. Yes, I have some experience too in my life. Some people coming telling me so many dreams. Yeah, <coughs> I have experiences too. I have some dreams too. And some experiences. And yes, I am seeing Sheikh Mawlana always above every other Sheikh, definitely. I, I have lots of respect to so many of them. They are very high levels too. But I always watch what Sheikh Mawlana is, never reaching to him. Every time I think that I reach, it disappears in another ocean. So definitely, that time you're going to find, especially this time, you're going to find those ones from Muslims, from Christians, from Jews, from every side of the world, people with ego. Those that they are running to keep their egoistic understanding alive, Definitely, they are not going to like so many things that Sheikh Mawlana is saying and doing. But everything that he is saying and doing, it is 100% that fits to Quran Kerim. And if the Jews are going to say something, 100% Rome are just representing Musa. If the Christians are going to say something again, 100% representing Isa. And everything that he is doing, is fitting alhamdulillah but not according individuals their own brain and they while they are sitting in the sewer and they are thinking and they are trying to judge the sheikh that was reaching all the way to heavenly stations no it's not going to be that time so the more as i say if you don't hear things against to him then sit and think something wrong somewhere Holy Prophet saying, oh, do you hear anything against to the Prophet? Of course, every day, everywhere. Is it making him to go lower or higher station? He's not <coughs> physically among us, but his position is going higher or going lower. More they are attacking, more higher station is reaching. Same thing is sahabe Kiram. Same thing with all those who came and who's passing up till now. So those who are attacking, either they are attacking because they are in gaflet, they are not knowing any better, and they are thinking what they know is the only way. They are going to attack. Or 
they have some hidden agenda behind that is evilish, that is supporting shaitan. And they are working for shaitan, those ones. Just like, for instance, Sheikh Mevlana, uh, I am watching, somebody show me that in the internet, they came, what is that television, Arab television? Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera, they wanted to make interview with Sheikh Mevlana. And Sheikh Mevlana, knowing who they are and why they wanted to put him there, and somebody else is trying to provoke Sheikh Mevlana to be on that television because it's going to be very good for Arabs and they're going to... So Sheikh Mevlana is saying, not necessary. But uh, they are pushing so much and Sheikh Mevlana is saying, Okay, saying to them, uh, saying to them, uh, I will give you the answer tomorrow. And saying, uh, next day he's not going to give them the answer, of course, he's not going to make an interview with them, he's not going to make interview with them. And saying to them, well, order for me to make interview with you, you have to pay me one million dollar. So, uh, uh, those uh, Al Jazeera people, they went crazy, of course. How are they going to come? But they're going to make million dollars from interviews and things like that. And to who knows? Sheikh Mehran knows that they're going to use that for wrong reasonings, interview too. They're saying, pay this money, I'll make an interview with you. They said, but yesterday you said that uh, you're not going to do it and today you're going to do it, and this, and he says, yeah, I spoke, I make a robot with the prophet, is giving me permission, saying, to make interview with you for one million dollar. So, the Wahhabi ideologies, they taking the thing, oh, Sheikh is saying, he's talking with the prophet with a phone, and he wants million dollar, That's a, he will make his toilet on your millions. The world is under his feet. He doesn't want it. He's giving it to the world back. He doesn't want the million. But they came with the evil intention and he proved them what was the evil intention later. They took that and they spread it in the world saying, this is the chef that you are following. Because Arab world is also, they were running to follow. Say, so this is the chef that you are following. So he proved them, but they're still in government. And some is running today internet Computers, they have computers, everyone running, seeing these foolish things. They're not putting together their mind. Or some spies, they are attacking. Jeff Mehran saying he's a spy. Or he's this, or he's that. But they're not, as we, what we say, gaflet. They are not putting things together to understand why man has to be a spy, for what reason. What is the, isn't that other than the money? So what the man is going to do, the man, he's not using the money. He's not doing anything. He's living very simple life. So that is not they not understanding too. Those who's attacking him saying he is a spy, they are a spy. <laughs> they are doing all these evil shaitanic things. So of course you're going to find that shows that yes, he's hundred percent right because all the prophets saying if the people all they hate the person they don't really like. And when you're making an interview with them and they are saying, in front of him they may say certain things, but they really don't like him, and they hate him, said so that one is a tyrant, that one is no good. Saying, if everybody you go and they like him, he said that everybody's saying he's good, he's good, he's good, he's good. Every group of people they are saying he's good, says that one is a hypocrite. Because that one he speaks according whatever they want to hear. So if you're finding a man is he speaking and is always his followers, the ones that they are loving him, is more than those ones that they are not loving him, that one is good. Follow that one. That is the hadith. So Alhamdulillah, Shaykh Mawlana is good. Follow him. I am following him. Why are you listening to me? That one must be listening to me and asking that question. Whatever you are hearing from me, I am learning from Sheikh Mawlana. That's all. No credit to me. It's credit to Sheikh Mawlana. Ben de teşekkür ediyorum. I am also thanking to those ones whose understanding, really. I am accepting sincere questions like that, even if it's 
negative and positive, sincere. So many times people, they're not understanding, and they have to ask. And what I know, I am saying, I don't hesitate also what this one is going to think and what that one is going to think. I'm going to speak to you what my experience, what the reality that I'm seeing there. And that's what I'm seeing, 100%. And if that one is following Sheikh Mawlana, somebody is going to follow Sheikh Mawlana because I told them to follow Sheikh Mawlana. I became a reason for them. And they're going to follow Sheikh Mawlana. And because of that, they're going to enter to Jahannam. I am asking Allah to put me in Jahannam for their place. Because Sheikh, because Sheikh Mawlana is, if they're thinking that it's going to be a wrong guide to them, and they're going to enter. Don't think that you're going to do wrong things. And I'm asking to enter to Jahannam for you. No. But if you're following Sheikh Mawlana, and Sheikh Mawlana thinking that Sheikh Mawlana is going to lead you to Jahannam, then I'm asking Allah now to take me to Jahannam for their place. Those ones that I'm going to be a guy. But I'm speaking this only for Sheikh Mawlana, not for anybody else. Yes. You have more questions? Well, 